Good morning. Welcome back to BT, and thanks for making us part of your morning. Just on the other side of that uh, that museum, there you're going to find our buddy Drew Kozik checking out the climbing wall. Something in St. B that many of us have driven past and wondered. I, what, what is that? Is that? <laughs> so let's check in with Drew as he's getting ready. What exactly are you going to face this morning, Pally? Well, guys, um, 20 meters of pure ice. It sounds a little intimidating. It sounds a little bit scary, but I've learned a couple of tricks that are going to help make things much easier. Oh. Okay, tricks from the pros down there that are there to assist you because you need some help, right? <laughs> well, that, uh, that I mean, goes without saying. They have some very good people who are going to help uh, us learn the, the mountain climbing experience. But, for example, um, there's a, a couple different sides of the wall that you can be climbing up. The north side is the most difficult side oh. uh, to be working your way up. Um, so when we uh, get out there, there's a couple different routes that you could be taking. And in uh, just a little bit, we're going to be talking technique, showing you the simplest side, and then uh, maybe more challenging uh, things so you can tell your friends. I'll go up this side, you go up that side, and we'll meet you at the top. And that way you can look like a superstar. But before yeah. we get there, we've got to make sure that we're outfitted with the right gear. Okay, what do we need, pal? Well, um, uh, I'm going to refer to my good friend uh, Brad Friesen because, as we can tell, just by looking at him, he clearly knows what he's doing. <laughs> uh, Brad, thanks for coming here this morning. Hey, you're welcome. Thanks for coming down. Oh, uh, very excited. Now, uh, Brad, you're with Wilderness Supply, and yep. uh, you guys uh, you guys know a thing or two about any sort of adventure sport, especially climbing, as Absolutely. I've uh, got to uh, learn this morning. We saw you already race up the wall one time. How does it work when we come down to the park here at the St. Vitale, it's, uh, or in St. Boniface? It's managed by the Alpine Club of Canada, um, but the St. Boniface uh, section, correct? That's correct, yep. yep. So yeah, anyone who wants to try ice climbing, you come down on a weekend, um, just dress, dress for the weather, dress warm, then you come down here. It's uh, 30 bucks for, for non-members of the club, and then we have all the climbing gear that you would need to get up this tower. And when we're looking at all this stuff, um, I, I see we've got a lot of different things, but not quite sure exactly how they work. So uh, let's begin at the bottom and work our way up. Sure. These are some serious looking boots, and these are the <laughs> ones that you guys have available for us to borrow? You got it, yep. What are some of the features on these things that make uh, our climbing uh, a little bit easier? Well, this is a climbing specific boot. It's a double plastic boot. It's going to give nice and support for, for your feet. And then we also have this crampon pre-attached. So this crampon, these spikes in the front, these two guys here, you're going to kick those into the ice wall and that's going to keep you on the wall. Okay. So you can climb higher kicking those front points into the ice. Gotcha. So uh, each spike sort of has its own job. These ones are for helping us climb up and then this is yep. for like when, as we're going? Maybe uh, it's easier? That's more for flatter stuff. You're not going to really have the sole of your foot on the wall. Gotcha. Yeah. Not, not yet. Not yet. Okay. That's advanced. Someday. Someday we'll yeah. get there. Okay. So we've got our boots. We've got our crampons. Yep. Um, but I noticed that you are wearing a helmet, which uh, I imagine is a pretty important uh, piece of equipment. Very, correct? very important. Ice is delicate, it breaks, it falls off, and I've been lucky to have my helmet on a few times getting hit in the head with ice, so yeah, you always want to have your helmet on when you're climbing. All right, make, making sure that we have all those uh, essential pieces of gear. Now, I'd like to ask about these things. We call these what exactly? Those are the ice tools. The ice tools, and uh, I saw you using them. Yep. Um, how do they work exactly? So as you're going up the wall, you're going to swing it just like you would swing a hammer into the ice and the pick's gonna penetrate the ice and once you get that in there you can it basically supports you from falling backwards off the wall so you get your tools in then you can bring your feet up and you just alternate Kay. tools feet gotcha well I'm looking forward to uh, getting te uh, my technique down and testing that out in just a couple of minutes but let's say I start really liking this let's say I get into yeah. this big time and want to start investing in my own gear For um, sure. what should I be thinking about picking up what's uh, some good universal climbing gear that I could use universal if you don't have a harness grab yourself a harness okay um, if you're a rock climber and you already have a climbing harness perfect you can use that but oh, excellent. Uh, any harness you can use for for ice climbing as well perfect and yep. these are things that we can pick up uh, at wilderness supply? Wilderness supply carries them uh, they also carry all the tools anything you need for ice climbing wilderness will have so if you need boots or uh, crampons, helmets, we can we can get you that too. Excellent. So uh, just to recap then, if people uh, see this, see what we're up to and think, man, I want to try this maybe this weekend, they can just uh, drop on by? Come on down, yep. Volunteers yep. always here. Volunteers are always do. here. Uh, there's always somebody here willing to help out new people and, and get them up the wall. Perfect. Uh, $30 if we're not a member of the uh, Alpine Club? That's correct. Excellent. Yeah. All right, well, Brad, thank you very much for giving us the little lesson this morning. You're welcome. Now, if there's anything that you missed there or any more information that you want, uh, we have that posted on our website at breakfasttelevision.ca, telling you a little bit more about the wall, the club, and the great folks at Wilderness Supply. We're taking a little break so that I can get that suited up, and then coming up later on this morning on Breakfast Television, we're tackling the ice wall in St. Boniface.